Hello, my name is Kevin Kenna. I'm a postdoctoral associate in uh, the lab of Professor John Landers uh, here at the uh, Neurology Department of UMass Medical School. Um, our primary research focus in the Landers lab is the neurodegenerative disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS for short. And what most of our efforts are concentrated on are trying to find and understand uh, genetic factors that cause the disease. So very recently we were part of a large international collaboration that set out to um, discover uh, gene mutations causing familial forms of the disease. And what I mean by familial forms are uh, cases of the disease where we have more than one person from the same family developing the disease. And uh, this was a big collaboration involved uh, 70 researchers from 30 institutes spread across eight countries and a total of 635 familial ALS patients. The numbers of affected people within the families we were seeing were far too small to apply traditional genetic mapping strategies. And this is an issue encountered in the study of many late onset and uh, more common disorders. So what we did instead was conduct an unbiased analysis of every gene in the genome using a technique called exome resequencing. And this generated trillions of individual DNA base calls for our familial ALS patients, uh, which once pieced together, allowed us to search for rare damaging mutations that might help explain exactly why it was these people had developed the disease. However, a significant challenge to taking this approach is that every single one of us, in fact, carries many rare mutations which look as though they could be disease causing. This introduces the problem of how do you know uh, which mutations you're seeing in ALS patients might be related to their disease and which simply represent normal background human variation. Um, so what we did was rather than look at the individual mutations, uh, we looked for patterns to the mutations we were seeing and essentially we tested whether there were any genes that we were seeing mutated more often among our cohort of ALS patients than among the general population. Well, through this, we discovered that a subset of our patients uh, had an elevated frequency of mutations within the gene TUBA4A. And this was a result which um, held up across various statistical analysis of our original exome resequencing data set, but also when we uh, looked at a second and entirely independent replication cohort of many more familial ALS patients and uh, a large number of matched controls. And what this means is that we can be confident that the results we're seeing are real and that certain types of ALS are at least uh, partially attributable to the mutations of tube A4A. My name is Claudia Fallini and I'm a postdoctoral fellow uh, in the laboratory of Dr. Landers here at uh, UMass Medical School. Um, tube A4A codes for uh, a member of the alpha tubulin family. Together with beta tubulin, alpha tubulins form the microtubules, which are one of the most important structural components of the cell. From the genetic analysis, it appeared clear that mutations in tuba 4 a are associated with ALS. However, we didn't know uh, what consequences this mutation might have on the protein functions. So we um, decided to uh, perform a series of cell-based assays to investigate this issue. First, we wanted to see whether mutant tuba 4 a was able to uh, efficiently incorporate into the forming microtubules. So we transfected primary cells and we looked at the ratio of incorporated versus uh, diffuse tube of array, uh, signal and we found that most of the mutants were able to incorporate in the microtubule network although with a rate uh, lower than the wild type protein. Also what we found is that uh, the mutant um, protein is toxic to the cell because of its ability to interfere with the normal function of the uh, endogenous protein. And um, this was particularly interesting because it suggests a dominant negative mechanism of action for the mutant tuba for a. Uh, And to further support this hypothesis, we performed some uh, tests in primary motor neurons and we found that mutant tuba for a is able to uh, weaken the entire microtubule network. This work demonstrates the importance of identifying even very rare mutations that cause ALS, as it might point to common pathways that are altered in different forms of ALS and eventually cause motor neuron death. In fact, tubafore is one of several cytoskeletal genes that are associated with ALS, and this strengthens the hypothesis that alteration to the cytoskeleton may um, play a major role in the development of ALS. 
the ongoing effort from the ALS community to sequence thousands of patients genome uh, through big international collaborations such as Project MINE will be an invaluable resource to identify new disease genes and new disease pathways that could be uh, targeted for therapeutic intervention and we hope that our work will serve as a valuable uh, reference for this future research.